Better. Good, yeah. It's, it's, um, just been rehabbing it the last few days and, and, and um, doing treatment, you know, numerous times a day, and it, it's, it's feeling better. Could you go for practice then? Hmm? Could you go for practice? Yeah, I'm going to practice. Um, yeah, I'm going to get a little practice in today here and there and, and just see how it feels and, and throw. And um, Got to throw yesterday a little bit, and then just a little sore, but just, you know, day to day. And it's the best part about it is just improving. It feels a lot better. What is the biggest thing you're dealing with? In terms of having to throw. Oh, it's just sore, just sore, just just more so uncomfortable than anything. Um, but like I said, just I've been rehabbing two, three times a day on um, the last two days, and, and um, you know, spent a lot of time in there and ice and, and doing a lot of movement stuff, and um, it's definitely feeling better than it was obviously on game day and in the last few days. So you're talking about your chest or your shoulder? Yeah, it's it's chest, rib area, um, and just. Like I said, it's it's not a whole lot of movements to make it too sore, but but throwing obviously is one of them. But um, just continue to make it feel better and then get some throws in today and get some work in today and, and see where it goes. So when you said you hurt something on that hit, mm -hmm. what did that turn out to be? Yeah, I, I mean, I, at first I thought it was my shoulder the way I landed, and, and you know, like I said, I heard a, I heard a weird noise and, and didn't know what it was, and so I didn't want to move my shoulder because um, I didn't know exactly what it was, and then I started feeling pain in the, in the chest rib area and. Um, pretty, it was kind of got shortness of breath and it was just really uncomfortable. And um, luckily, like I said, though, there was no break and it was just, you know, very uncomfortable feeling. And, and like I said, I tried to go back in and I fought with the trainers to go back in, but the smart move was, you know, to just stay out. So at this point, do you think you'll be ready to start on Sunday? Yeah, I mean, I'm taking it day to day right now. Um, that's the plan. That's my goal, obviously, is, is to be ready to go on Sunday. But um, I got to, you know, get through practice first and, and go day to day and, and just see how it feels. You know, getting a full really? rep practice today, getting to throw pads on and see how it feels. So, Cody, you said it, you do, it does hurt when you make a throw, though? Uh, I mean, it, it doesn't necessarily hurt. It's just a little uncomfortable. Um, but that's just obviously getting better. It's better than it was. It, it feels a lot better than it was a couple days ago, the past few days. Um, but, you know, I just continue to, to rehab it and, and, you know, eliminate that pain and do whatever I can to, to you know, speed up the recovery. How exactly do you rehab? Just different movements, movements that, that are uncomfortable maybe, just kind of rep those and, and do different things and, um, you know, continue to keep the shoulder loose too um, in that area and, and a ton of ice. Is it the right side or left side? Left side. And is it a situation where you might have to wear a black jacket or something like that? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, that'll be up obviously to the trainers. Um, but, you know, my main goal, my main focus right now is just getting ready to play Sunday. And, um, whether I get a ton of reps there or whatever it may be or just how comfortable it feels, I still want to continue to stay in it mentally and, and you know, get as many mental reps as I can if I'm not in there. If you were healthy enough to go, I mean, do you think you're still the quarterback or with McCown coming back? Is it a question? I mean, my plan is, is the same as it's always been, just continue to prepare. And that's obviously Coach Jackson's decision. and um, He makes a call on all those, but I'm going to continue to keep the same process and, and continue to prepare like I have the last few weeks. Cody, before you got hurt, you guys put a nice drive together. Mm -hmm. um, what would you like most about that drive? It seemed like you maybe had lived on a couple plays and did some other things outside the pocket. Yeah, yeah, it was uh, just for me, you know, just getting more comfortable, I guess, after the game. Um, you know, just starting to feel more comfortable the more and more reps I get in game situations. And um, it was unfortunate. You know, I was, I was very upset because we were moving the ball really well on that drive and um, getting into a rhythm. And unfortunately, you know, obviously I had to come out. But um, I'm just getting more comfortable with the offense, you know, getting more comfortable with, with Terrell and Hawk and, and the other receivers and running backs in there and just, you know, getting more in the rhythm of the game. Did you talk to Drango about working a little harder to get open? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, they covered it well. We were hoping <laughs> hoping to get man on that play, but and he was he was excited all week, so it was unfortunate. But um, good job of Hawk. You know, we, we, we practiced all week with it was was you know getting Drango the ball and um, you know obviously they covered it well and played zone and Hawk did a great job of coming back to the ball and helping me out. How far down the field would, would that throw be? Uh I'm not sure. Depending on how fast he got out, I guess. But um, you know, want to get it to him probably not too deep and not make him work too hard. Just get it to him pretty quick. But um, like I said, they, they they had a great call for that and it didn't work out. How well do you know uh, Marcus Mariota? And uh, mm -hmm. what would it be like for you to, to kind of go up against him? What do you think yeah, I, I I never got to play against him in college, um, unfortunately. But you know, I, I got to know him over stuff like the Manning camps in, in Louisiana and. and um, different quarterback camps and stuff like that, but um, he's awesome. You know, we, we became you know good friends, and, and you know we talked throughout the season. Um, his last year, we got to talk a lot and everything, but um, it'll be exciting. You know, he, he played in the Pac-12, and, and you know I played in the Pac-12, so it's going to be an exciting game, and 
Um, he's a great quarterback. You know, he's a great player, and he, he can put up a lot of points. You know, so you got to be very effective on offense. How was it you didn't play against them? Don't you guys play? Yeah, we sw so we switch when they're not a Pac-12 South team. We switch every two years. So um, my sophomore year and junior year, we played Oregon State both years instead of Oregon. And then when we did play Oregon my senior year, he was already gone. So I, we, we, when we played against him, I wasn't the starter yet. Let me say that. So my, my red shirt freshman year, when Matt Barkley was still there, we played against him, but I wasn't playing. How much more do the hits hurt in the NFL than in the Pac-12? Uh, I mean, it, it depends. Obviously, there, there's some hits like that one, you know, that, that you know you can't do anything about. And, and you know, he made a great play on it and, and um, definitely was, was in some pain. But yeah, I mean, the guys in the NFL are bigger, faster, stronger. But um, you know, you got to continue to protect yourself and, and, and be smart with the football and, um, you know, try to eliminate some of those hits. Yeah, just like I said, they called called the right defense at the right time, and and you know we were hoping to get man on that and hoping he was going to be man on the back, but um, he ran through, and and you know the, the the one thing that we didn't want them to do, they called and and it made a great play. How um, have you always been like this, where you know you'll play hurt, you'll sacrifice your body, or have you gotten some inspiration from watching how Josh? McDonald's yeah, and that's what I talked to Josh after was what made me so upset was you know I watched him a couple weeks ago, you know refused to come out and. I was trying to do that. I was trying to go back in and, 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 you know, begging them to let me go back in. But at the same time, you know, they were saying, you know, you got to think longevity. You know, you don't want to go in and make it worse and, and be out longer, you know, and, and continue to get hit there or something happen again where it gets worse. So, um, you know, I had to accept that. And unfortunately, you know, I didn't get to go back in, but that one, that one hurt me really bad not being able to go back in there. Having said that, Cody, is there any consideration to giving it one full week, or actually, actually two weeks, and just not playing this week so you get back to 100%? I'm just day to day, you know, like coach said, um, my goal obviously completely is to come back this week. You know, I want to, I want to be back on the field as fast as I can and, and get ready to play. But, um, you know, that'll be coach's decision and, and the decision of the trainers to see where I'm at. And obviously today at practice, we'll, you know, I'll get to get some reps in there and throw and see how it feels, you know, getting full speed reps and, and throwing football. How would you take it if, uh, if coach decided to go back to Josh? As a I just continue to work, you know, continue to learn from Josh, continue to, to try to get better each week. and. Um, not change anything, you know, keep my same process and, and the way I was the first two weeks, you know, continue to stay prepared and, and um, you know, not get, you know, satisfied with, with, with anything and just continue to keep working harder and trying to get better. Is there, can they quantify, um, you know, the injury? Is there, can you go on a side that's test and measure strength or anything like that? Uh, I think it's just more so how I feel. Um, that's kind of what they've been measuring or asking me is, is, you know, day to day, how much, you know, sore is it and, and how does it feel, um, you know, each day and, and it's been better. It's just a good thing. It's gotten better each day, and and that's something that I want to keep doing is you know keep improving until we get to Sunday. So your gut feeling, and like right now, if you had to say it would be okay for Sunday, your gut feeling. I mean, that's obviously that's what my mindset is. Um, but you know, it's hard to say um, with the game you know being a couple of days away. Um, but like I said, that's my main goal is is to do as much rehab and treatment as necessary and get back as fast as I can. Were you pleasantly surprised on Monday how it felt? Um. Yeah. I mean, it. it it still hurt, you know. Sunday after the game, Sunday night after the game was was, was pretty painful, and um, Monday was a little better. And that's I got to do some treatment that day. And throughout the day, Monday it started feeling better, um, but it was still, you know, pretty painful. But you know, it's it's like I said, it's gotten progressively better each day, which is you know positive. With the way that, uh, that you came back and answered uh, Tom Brady's touchdown with that nice drive, uh, would you like? Yeah, um, yeah. I think that's what what upset me the most was we were getting, like I said, getting a rhythm there on offense and, and moving the ball. And um, obviously, they're a great offense, and, and Tom Brady's a great quarterback, and, and they did a lot of things offensively that we would have to continue to fight through um, when we got the ball and, and keep, you know, putting points up. But um, you know, that's that's something that you know you don't know for sure because of the situation that happened. But um, I, where we were at that point in the game and, and having that long drive and establishing. You know, the pass game, be able to move the ball was, was something that was a positive. And obviously, I would have loved to, to continue to, you know, stay in the game and build off of that. But unfortunately, you know, I had to come out.